By the time you finish this video, you might be saying, what the f is going on? And I, I don't have the answer to that. I don't know either. I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, we gotta be fast. Or else this thing's gonna heal. Nice. Ooh, that was a little scarier, man. Rune crossbow Vespilas. Ooh, that's definitely scary, especially with these rod bolts, man, but we did it. Nice. Fire web is going in. Wait, I just hit a 27? Damn, that's crazy. I actually managed to hit a 27. Oh, hell yeah. 91 attack. Damn, it would have been sick if the MSB killed it there. Nice, that's our... Oh, purple! Holy shit! Oh my god, we got a purple. On the 40th KC. Yes! I think it's about time. Oh, oh my god, we did it. Only took a little while, but yeah, here we go, boys. Here we go. Oh, the ancestral head! <laughs> Yo, ancestral head, boys! I'll take it, dude. Alright, let me take this out. Oh, okay, guys. Let me show you my new magic setup here. Alright, so bye bye Zerikian hat and hello ancestral hat. It's all over the place, but dude, oh we're rocking that dude. Two percent magic damage? I can't get an extra hit with that, but if I get another ancestral piece, I might be able to. It's nice. I'm definitely uh, feeling the accuracy improvement though, just like my mystic bottoms, that's for sure. Oh that was so nice. All oh, rune arrows though. Yes, nice. Now I can use rune arrows for a while. All right, completed the uh, first shaman task, and I am going to try some Scotizo now because uh, that's actually our best chance to get a some giant stone. So I have seven totems. So if I get it there, you know, then I I'll change my plan. But uh, if not. We're gonna go back to the shamans though, but yeah, seven totems to try. Almost killed it. One more hit. Nice, we got our first Scotizo kill. Whip is amazing here, dude. Don't even have to worry about picking up arrows. First kill. Ooh, what we get here? Battle staves, alright. Whoa ho ho! 20 snapdragons, okay. Those are nice. Those are real, real nice. Clue scroll casket number three. Here we go. Oh my god, dude. H2 shield. Yo, guys, we got a new uh, fashion escape item, dude. I'm gonna use this now over my rune kite. With our uh, rune H4 body. Oh, wow, that actually looks nice. So there are ways to stop the eyeballs from reviving once it dies the first time. And it involves doing at least one more damage after the initial death of the eye. So an MSB with the tick reduction ability can easily do this. You can also far cast with magic or use MSB spec uh, and try to do it as well. Yo, the last kills. All seven totems used. What shall we get for the last one? Last drop. Mahogany planks, dang. Okay, well. Nice. What is that hit? 31. I'm just gonna go straight for the crystal. I mean, I can probably go for three crystals if I just gun it real fast. Holy shit, three crystals? Come on. Oh yeah, just got three crystals before the teleport. Oh yeah, I did. Nice. What's the difference between a blowpipe and and root arrows in Twisted League. I'll give you a, a minute to think about it. Actually, there is no difference. It is so goddamn strong. Holy shit, 94 magic. Let's go. Yes, another. is going on dude oh my god dude uh holy damn 
Wow. Um, holy shit. Looks like we have a pet for uh, uh the next league, bro. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> oh my god, dude, a deck scroll too. Oh my god, dude. Oh my lord. Okay, dude. Um Man, I, I don't know what to say, bro. The last video I, I thought was the craziest RNG of my life, but um Damn, this one's this one's really I don't know if it'll top that, but it's close. Let's freaking unlock this dexterous prayer scroll. Yes, we have learned rigor, the best prayer. I'm about to mess up some raids, bro, with some rune arrows, my MSB, and rigor, of course. 24, 14, 29, there we go. Already seeing some higher hits. So I'm stocking up on a bunch of Dark Essence right now so I can make a bunch of Battlefront teleports in mass so I can do my farm runs and Slayer efficiently. And uh, I found a good way to basically bank the Dark Essence uh, pretty rapidly it involves using a race bank so i do have the honors tally so i just go there to bank my essence and how do i get back good question so the way i get back is actually using a cart system there's a cart in the race area so i take that and it'll take me anywhere that has a cart so i can go all the way to north of rcs next to the fairy ring that's like as close as it gets to the dark essence mine so yeah man i just use the cart to get there mine and then bank at the race chest it's really good all right, I'll take it. Not bad. Oh, oh. oh my god, dude! It's it's just it just doesn't stop, guys. It just doesn't fucking stop. I don't I don't know. Holy crap, man! Jesus Christ! I don't know, bro. I don't know what's going on. Someone someone tell me what's going on. Can someone call Jagex? Okay, here we go, boys. <laughs> wow, Actu absolutely wow, dude. All right, we got a new addition to the family, man. My magic upgrade has gone so much better now. It is nice. Look at that, 65 magic. Oh my goodness. All right, so what what do I get? Wow, so I get 26 for the pants. 15? Wow, this was 11 extra accuracy. That's actually nuts. And yeah, now I have magic damage plus 4%. So there's a good chance I might be able to gain an extra max hit. No, it's 42 with rigor. Was it rigor? Oh, I, I was using rigor. Damn, that's nasty. Imagine broad boating 42. Hey, 98 strength. Awesome. Looks like next 99 will be 99 strength. There's going to be a slew of 99s coming up. On the way to 95 slur. Man, I kill these guys so fast with rigor that, uh, yeah, a lot of times I have to wait a little bit for them to spawn, which is honestly fine because it gives me just a brief second to pick up my stuff with little hassle. But yeah, man, uh, the slur XP per hour has gone up quite a bit as well. I was like doing 110k an hour the first time I was here, but yeah, now I'm going about 120k. Like, it's Gucci? Like, oh. What the f Just happened. Oh my god, dude. Uh, okay, um. Oh my god, dude. I, I have no idea. Yeah, man, I, I can't, I can't stay here anymore, man. It, it kind of mentally hurts me. Because I feel really bad for getting a second Warhammer. So I think we're going to have to pack our uh, ourselves out of this place. And go to Budo Black Dragons. Okay, uh, so we're done with Shamans forever on the Twisted League. So we're going to go with the Budo Black Dragons. We're going to try it out. Luckily it's only 30. Yeah, man, we'll see how it goes, man. We shall see. The Budo Black Dragons have a lot of nice lucrative drops. The main one I'm looking for... Uh, the realistic one is the dragon stone. It's one in 512, so it's three times more common than the shamans. But I was afraid it might take three times longer just to get a kill. They have a lot higher defense and uh, have a lot more HP, so and they're harder to kill. So yeah, 
uh, I was worried about that. But other than those, the dragon plate legs and skirt is pretty nice too. That's that's a best in slot. Yes, it also has the fisted drop, but you know, let's just stop there. Let's just try to get a dragon stone and maybe a dragon plate legs, you know, on the way to 95 Slayer. Some rigor uh, rune crossbow rod bolts, and it is really good here. I'm I'm hitting quite a lot. So uh yeah, I guess it isn't so bad. Especially on task, you know, corner's blessing too. Alright, finished the Brutal Black Dragon task. I'm gonna keep doing this. It's not bad, honestly. Uh, these are actually good uh, pre XP and stuff, so... Alright, just finished another Brutal Black Dragon's task. And I'm digging these. I am absolutely digging it. The ammunition, dude, for uh, for potential, you know, DPS increase in the future is nice. Arrow tips, uh, dart tips, and all that. And also, I'm getting a stabilized 90 to 100k XP an hour, so it's really good Slayer XP as well. Definitely very suitable for a 95 Slayer. And also, pre XP, the totem pieces for Muscle Tizo, like you name it, bro. It's all, it's, it's really good. And it doesn't cost me too much in supplies other than like a prayer pot or range pot or trip, so. Psych!